Got one. Got two. What's up everybody and welcome to the video. If you're a YouTube regular like me, you probably see a lot of the same kind of content about Tarkov meta gun builds. This video is here to cut through the subjective gun build narrative that changes with every content creator you follow. At their core, FPS games are eternally represented by their firearms. The weapons in which we use in these games are the main characters, and Tarkov is no different from the rest. I want to add some clarity with this introspective guide on why and how we deem these builds the best. When I started the game many moons ago, the meta was the HK416, but after some nerfs and a few wipes, now it's really undecided. Gun building is a key component to gaining an edge while PvPing and traversing the world. But does it really make a difference? Do I need to spend hundreds of thousands of rubles so I can finally escape from Tarkov? By the end of this video, you'll have your meta answer. The first part of every build involves understanding the hundreds of different gun parts, which is super easy because all you have to do is memorize every single gun and the dozens of ways it can be modified. Easy, right? No. Absolutely not. A quick note to the experienced viewers, stick with me for a minute while I explain this to the beginners. If you're no stranger to building Tarkov firearms, I'm positive you will learn something new and also rethink how you approach regaining your form when you're out of kits, out of rubles, and down bad. The best way to simplify gun building is to unlock the workbench in your hideout so you can view the gun modification screen. All you need are these common items here to build it. If you're really new, that's okay. With some luck, you can get your workbench unlocked by using all the weapons the developer gives you at level 1. You can also buy ready-to-use weapons like the SKS. Watching endless streams or YouTube videos like this is an excellent place to start, but playing and learning things for yourself is always the best teacher. Don't give up if you die a lot. Just join my discords I've put in the description of this video and send me a message. I'll be happy to help if I'm online or I can point you in the direction of another one of our community members. You can also ask away anytime I'm streaming at twitch.tv slash fanboynate. Just remember the O in boy is a zero. Let's start this off in easy mode by right clicking any weapon and selecting modding. I like to hold onto various weapon parts I find in raid for later use, and the modding menu allows us to easily peruse only the parts we already have in our stash. Let's say we didn't have this lovely Cobra reflex sight, but we wanted a better sight picture while ADSing. Now that we have the workbench unlocked, we can head over to the edit preset menu. Up top, you can select the specific categories of parts for more clarity. Let's select our Cobra sight and add a foregrip here while we're at it. Click Find Parts, click Yes, and we end up in the Buy Component phase. This can be a bit confusing since it shows some parts that we already have, but single out the pieces we just added and click Purchase. Let's say we needed all these parts. We can also choose Purchase All at the bottom with our combined total. Press Escape, and now that these parts are in our stash, we click Assemble. Voila! Another quick tip, when navigating through the purchase phase, if you deselect the owner type traders filter, any items that other players have posted on the flea market will appear. The flea market is unlocked only after you reach level 15, but it is essential to acquire the most elusive components. Now onto gun stats. If you open this window while either in the modding or edit preset screen, you'll find all the various gun statistics that sets Tarkov apart from all other FPS games. Although it's one of the defining features, it's also one of the most complicated next to the ammunition system. I won't expand into great detail about these stats. This is not that kind of video, but I will highlight what is arguably the most important. Ergonomics is a stat heralded by the most experienced Tarkov players because it affects weapon handling. Higher ergonomics equals a higher rate in which you aim down sights, aka how quickly you ready your firearm to ADS. Ergo also affects the rate at which your arm stamina drains while aiming down sights. The weight of your weapon can positively or negatively affect the overall ergonomics. Each part has its own individual weight and each one adds up quickly, so choose wisely. The next important statistic is recoil, which is divided into two types, horizontal and vertical. Vertical recoil is allegedly the most relevant of the two, since firearms climb upwards dramatically until compensation occurs. As you hover over each individual component, you'll see how the various metrics are affected inside the gun stats window. For example, choosing this smaller muzzle brake allows for much higher ergo but increases the vertical recoil when compared to the equipped suppressor. By now, you may be asking, where the hell is the meta, Nate? Why are we here if you're merely mimicking other videos that go into greater detail about gun stats and weapons? Solid point. 
If you want a near perfect explanation about gun stats and builds, check out Johnny Boosox. He does a much better job than I have here. He also has a great video on ammunition. Oh, I almost forgot. Like I said earlier, ammunition is yet another complicated feature that sets Tarkov apart from the rest. The ammo you use affects the gun stats I mentioned and more. The type of ammunition matters, especially when making sure you have the right caliber for that specific type of weapon. You can also check out eft-ammo.com as a quick reference guide when completing your loadouts. It also matters depending on how good you are at aiming. I'm typically shit, so I like high pen ammo since hitting center of mass is the best I can do on most days and the majority of players are wearing some type of armor. I rarely have the money or the right traders unlocked for the best ammunition, so I'm always hovering over ammo boxes in raid to check if it's a kind I like. Remember at the beginning of the video when I managed to take down those two players back to back? Can you guess what kind of ammo I'm using? Not only is that a PP-19, which is an underrated gun you're handed if you selected the bear class at the start of your journey, I'm also using 9x19 FMJ M882, which is literally classified as great for target practice. Even ammunition used for plinking can be the ultimate equalizer when placed right between the eyes. You can also choose to use lower penetration but higher flesh damage ammunition if you like aiming for the unarmored parts of the body, like a player's legs. The Tarkov community has dubbed this leg meta. Wait, there's that word again. Oh yeah, that's right, you want your answer to the big question, what is the meta? To truly answer this, we must travel back to this moment here as we're lost in our journey to equip this part for that stat and find ourselves as a player through gun modification. What if I told you none of this matters? Let me explain. I needed all that I mentioned before as a reference for the real point of this video. My experience in the last 6 plus wipes does not include a lot of time modding and researching the best build so I can get good. I use these tools regularly, but I don't put much thought into it. I know, you're thinking, but Nate, what about Ergo? What about Recoil? Oh yeah, did I mention the most recent roadmap states Recoil is getting a complete rework by the end of this year. You see, there are many factors that go into every raid. We can only control so much, and our weapon is one of many variables. There are even more factors if we break down each individual reason why we win or lose firefights. For me, this stat window stays closed. Not because I know how it's going to affect the weapon from experience, but because I want to spend more time in raid, playing the game. One of my favorite things to do is enter a raid with a weapon that has little modification, find components, and modify it along the way. Also, whenever I successfully complete a raid, I like to reward my equipped firearm for helping me extract. I'll invest a minor amount of rubles on a few components and head back in. If I survive again, another upgrade. A successful extraction typically means I've survived with more items to sell and more task progression. With this strategy, I avoid bankruptcy and I can also try something new. Additionally, underused weapons like my trusty PP-19 are never scooped up when I die, and I always get them back when I purchase insurance. Another quick tip, if you want to hang on to a build you didn't create, cause you know, this guy obviously knows the meta, you can click edit preset, click save as, name it and hang on to this build. This can be used for inspiration for a different mod or for beginners who don't know where to start with modding. Personally, I like to take it right back into Raid because I'm curious to see the game through somebody else's perspective. Why do I do all this? Because it's how I enjoy the game and enjoyment is why we all started to play. There are so many streamers and hardcore players investing thousands of hours into this game only to suffer from severe burnout. In my opinion, the only wrong way to play Tarkov is any way that inhibits your longevity as a player. Take it from me, don't listen to the mainstream. Invent your own playstyle and stick around a while. I'm not a Chad or a Timmy or Timmy's older brother Tommy or even a rat. Yes, contrary to popular belief, rats are essential to the game. Nothing puckers my butt more than knowing there's a player waiting to strike around every corner. The setback from dying to a Timmy or a player scab is essential to prolonging my journey of enjoyment. If it was an easy game, we wouldn't play it. We wouldn't feel it as our hearts beat out of our chest while a three man stomps by unbeknownst to our position. Chad, Timmy, Tommy, or Rat, I'm all of these things depending on what I think will be fun based upon the situation. I'm not tied down to a single playstyle or type of firearm. I think I can speak for us all when I say we keep coming back to Tarkov because of this philosophy. The weapons in this FPS game are not the main character. You are. So what is the meta? Well, the meta is what you make it. Thanks to everyone who stuck around until the end. 
This may not have been the video you wanted, but it's my hope it's one you needed. I always welcome feedback in my videos. Let me know in the comments how you define meta. If you like casual and thoughtful takes on Tarkov, please hit the subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. Until next time.